Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are checking out the Universal Studios meal plans to help you determine if the plan is right for you and if it's good for your family. We publish travel videos on this channel all the time, so hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification button so you'll know when the next video is ready for you to view. Now for what you've been waiting for. The inside information you need to know to make the informed decision as to whether the Universal Full Service or Quick Service Dining Plan will work for you and your family. Plan number one is the Universal Dining Plan, or known as the Full Service Plan. One key that you do need to remember is that when you purchase the Full Service Plan, you must purchase that in advance or with a package. You can purchase it on site if you are at one of the Universal Studios hotels, but if you're at a off-site hotel or a partner hotel, you can only buy one day. If you're staying at our recommended partner hotel which is the Holiday Inn at Universal Studios which is directly across the street from the parking structure you are allowed to buy the full service plan for one day and that includes one full service meal one quick service meal one snack and one non-alcoholic beverage the snack and the drink are not specific because they're based on points. Now what that means is if you have two drinks, that uses two points. If you have two snacks, that uses two points. Or if you have one snack and one drink, that is equal to two points. So it's not specific as far as if you choose to have a butterbeer ice cream or a butterbeer or if you want to have a large lad donut, you can actually interchange those things and you can choose a snack one day or a snack and a drink it's not specific it's all based on points the full service plan for 2018 ran around fifty six dollars per person per day it all depends on what you normally eat when you sit down for an evening meal if you eat cheaper than thirty dollars per person it may be cheaper to go with just a quick service meal Moving on, the quick service dining plan. This is a plan which offers one quick service meal with a non-alcoholic beverage to drink with your meal. And that is key. You want to remember, when you order your meal, it does include a drink. So make sure you always order your meal and the drink. It is included. You can get the drinks even up into the specialty drinks like pumpkin juice and gilly water, or fishy green ale, sodas, teas, coffee, basic drinks that are all included. Butter beer is not included. I found that out at one of the restaurants and I just switched it over into to have a pumpkin juice. So either way you can you can use your butter beer as a snack or as a drink and you can get that later. The key is to always ask when you order. If you want a drink, the drink is included with the meal, but you want to make sure that it is one of the drinks that is included. Because if you do order a butterbeer with your meal, they will charge you for the butterbeer. In addition to your quick service meal, you're allowed one drink and one snack. We learned while using the plan that you're allowed to use credits, and we had them for four days with the plan, which gave us each eight credits. You can use them all in one day, or you can use them two per day, or you know, if you wanted to get a lard lad donut to take home and have it for breakfast the next day, you can do that as well. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but you just have to know that you have two credits per day with your quick service meal plan. The one thing that I really liked about having the quick service dining plan while we were there was it, it gave us the option to get the butter beer and try it in all different ways. You know, I was able to try it frozen, I was able to try it cold, I was able to try it in several different, actually butterbeer ice cream too. So there was a lot of different ways that you can try the butterbeer and it's not cheap. I mean, you're looking at probably $8 for a butterbeer. So you do, if you use the plan correctly, it will more than pay for itself. Now the plan does cost about $26 per day per person, including taxes and fees. This does allow you to order the most expensive item on the menu, which I chose to do at each restaurant during our trip there. We chose to eat at the Fast Food Boulevard, the Leaky Cauldron, Three Broomsticks, and Thunder Falls Terrace. For the quick service dining plan, we paid roughly $26, including taxes and fees, per person per day. 
and to really show you how well you can actually do as far as spending and saving money goes I'm going to use the examples of what I purchased while we were at the park during the week that we spent six days there we actually bought the plan for four days and were able to use the plan very efficiently and saving a lot of money so let me just run through what I had for my lunches and how much I saved over the, t the term of the four days that we were there. So for the first restaurant we stopped at Thunder Falls Terrace and I ordered the chicken and ribs platter with rotisserie chicken and our mango barbecue ri glazed ribs. I also included the soda because that comes included. So the total if I had purchased it on my own it would have cost $19.98. I know you can also order the chicken and ribs combo which includes the Jurassic Park milkshake and that combo costs twenty dollars and forty nine cents. On our next day we went to the fast food boulevard and I ordered the basket o bait for $17.99 which is basically a fresh fish it has coconut shrimp fried calamari and hush puppies and homemade tartar sauce cocktail sauce and it's served with tater tots and I also ordered a soda for that meal and that total cost was $21.98. At the Leaky Cauldron, I ordered the mini pie combination for $15.49, and I had a ghillie water on that day. And funny thing is, the ghillie water is uh, purified water, and it costs $5.50. It's a 20-ounce water, and it's $5.50. So if you were to buy that on your own, it was going to be $20.99. So I made a pretty good deal with that day. And then at the next day we went to Three Broomsticks and I ordered the chicken and ribs platter for $15.99 and that's served with corn on the cob and roasted potatoes. And on that day I ordered the pumpkin juice which cost $4.99. So my total for the Three Broomsticks day would have cost me $20.98 if I didn't have the Universal Dining Plan. Now with each of these days I also had an additional beverage or a snack and if you just added a butterbeer either frozen or cold or hot or butterbeer ice cream if you ordered a butterbeer which is $8.99 each and every day I'm pretty close to $30 so I only paid $26 and I got an additional snack and a butterbeer so it's a pretty good deal if you actually pay the $26 and use it the way you should you're going to save money if you like to eat and have butterbeer and have all of the, the snacks, the big lard lad donuts, you're going to save money by going with the Universal Quick Service Dining Plan. So my recommendation is get the Universal Dining Plan if you are going to stay there for three or four days. In future videos I'll share tips and tricks on travel. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell if so if you'll know when our next informational video is going to be published. Book with GNSA Travel for insider tips on cruise travel, all-inclusive resorts, and Universal Studios vacations. Until next time, this is Gary Butcher with Gary and Sally's Adventure Travel.